Hello everybody, this is Walrus McFish Sr. and we are back with some more Dungeon Crawl. So, uh, here we are. Here's a hill giant. He's asleep. Not too dangerous. Um, maybe we should back off a little bit. Maybe throw a poison tomahawk at him. <laughs> Let's try that. Tomahawk. He's poisoned. Even sicker. Okay, that worked well. Now we'll make a path of fire for him to navigate. Alright, fine. Now we'll go up here. New nymph fire. He's not willing to come up here because he's too scared. You're a scared hill giant. Okay. Get those. Whoops, all that flesh. Okay, what am I carrying around? Like a million pounds of food? Yeah. Alright. Bread ration store right here. Emergency bread ration store. Maybe I'll come back and get that later, but. For now, it'll help. Oh, okay, this was Nergal, right? Whoa! Plus three dagger protection. This is much better. All right, this is all of a sudden a great dagger to have. I'll drop my old one, I guess. And uh, unfortunately, this robe is uh, cursed. I have six scrolls to remove curse, so we can afford to burn one. Now let's put it on. Plus two robe of positive energy. Very nice. If that was Nergal's robe, I think that makes sense. All right, so much happier about having a plus two robe. Is probably worthwhile. I mean, we will get some armor at some point. But for now... Well, actually, armor might be appropriate. If we can get Orb of Destruction up faster without armor. And we are working on dodging. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep it as is for now. That plus two robe will help. If we find any nice enchanted armor, we'll, ch we'll change it later. Okay, let's see if we can stab this guy. No. Oh well. I could put a... Wait, that beam is likely to hit me? What? Oh, because of that crystal wall right there. That's kind of cool. Totally fine, because it's cool. Where'd you go? Get him. Alright, good. Oh yeah, again, likely to hit me. Crazy crystal wall. Can I do a double zap off that thing? I bet I could but I didn't realize it until it was too late, and it's also not super critical. Brain Worm! You know how much I love intelligence drain. Alright, time to hit him with a needle, right? It's poisoned, and now we just back away. I don't know if that took him out. Whoops, what happened? Oh, whoops, because, um, that needs to be A. Alright, now we can hit them as such. Let's put a, uh, Contra Flame right here. Fine. Rainworm, yikes. Alright, let's just take him out as quickly as we can. Got him. Julio, Shadow Imp, should be no issue, especially with our new robe of oh, negative energy resistance. Alright, uh, this is slightly more bothersome. We could have just hit him with uh, Mr. Blast, but let's use Dagger Chaos. I like Dagger Chaos. Whoops, alright. Now, okay, he's petrifying. Let's hit him with the Mystic Blast. Got him. Alright, now we'll just get our protection. Okay, whoops. You need to be A. There we go. Perfect. Alright, good. Auto pickup is on. Fine. Great. Book of Death. It's the Book of Death. I was considering getting into some necromancy in this game. 
I mean, I sort of, I haven't gotten Necromancy in a long time. I mean, this might be the game to do it. It gives us sort of some of those options that you want, like uh, escape options that you get from a god that you can't really get from anywhere else, like Death's Door, for example. You know, I mean, Sanctuary and uh, Enter the Abyss and things like that, you know, those are real powerful abilities that can save your life in a second, much in the same way Death's Door could. Neck mutation. We could we could go this route. What's in here? Some good stuff. We are smart enough for it, you know. We could pick up Bolt of Draining. Man, that could be good. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Six spell levels left. What could we learn? There's no animate. There's agony. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Room short sword. It's worth checking out. It could be cursed. It's probably just cursed. I'm not even going to look at it. Whoops. Hill giant right here. Sticky flame time. And step away. Contra flame time. This sort of looks like the lair, right? Maybe. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. Okay. Electric eel. Yeah, we should hit him with the... Um... Good. Alright. Yeah, I really like taking out these guys at a distance. Here's Fanar. Whoa. Okay. Got a staff of cold, which is about the opposite thing that we would want. We would totally wear a staff of fire. Uh, he's got a robe of cold resistance, though, which is possibly better than a robe of positive energy. I don't know. Uh, both could be okay at this point in the, du in the dungeon. Well, uh, what do we hit Fanar with? Poison? Poisoned, okay. A little bit of... Uh, does he have a fire vulnerability? No. Well, let's hit him with a couple of fireballs, maybe? Or a, a con... Uh, just a... Throw flame? Just try to... Okay, we'll hit him with fireball. He's dangerous enough he needs to die right now. Yikes. Okay, this is a bad situation. I'm considering teleporting. We should be fine, I think. Let's try to kill Fanar. Got him. Okay, so this is fine. Lay down a, um, a cloud of flame and then make sort of a retreat here. Yeah, all right. That works. We got Fanar. Okay, here's a uh, yak. Is, is he just willing to burn? Killed the imp? Okay, that works. Uh, we'll find. Yeah, you guys are just willing to stand there and burn. Hit him with a fireball. Yeah, got them both. Alright, fine. Nice. Let's go upstairs and deal with the... Oh, whoops. Okay, let's just charge up a little bit then. And same thing. Alright, we can take a couple yak hits, right? Yeah, nothing to it. I mean, he didn't actually hit us, I don't think. We dodged him. Our EV is not bad. Our AC is not bad. Honestly, we're doing okay. Is there any better armor? Eh, maybe. Okay, more yaks. We can take yaks. Sticky flame the yak and run away. That works brilliantly. Ogre. I mean, this is this is certainly. This is certainly the, the lair, right? I mean, what else could it be? Sticky flame doesn't work on these guys, right? Alright, take them upstairs. Take them down. Take them downtown. Alright, here's that orc wizard. We should be able to get him, right? 
Blammo. That was probably overkill. And now this fish is afraid of us. Got him. Orc Warrior, fine. Whatever. You think I care about you? Think you're something, Orc Warrior? <laughs> These people ain't nothing. These orcs ain't nothing. Or priest. Alright, let's do long range shot. That. Yeah, nice. Alright, it helps to block line of sight too. That works really well. Uh, more ruined weapons. I don't even know. I mean, I've already got my pretty much ideal ruined weapon for now, unless until I find like an enhanced staff. So I'd rather just save it a little bit. What do I have? Good potions? Not really. A heavily jeweled robe, eh? It could be contaminated. It could be like the robe of misfortune. We should probably identify it. Robe of the butterfly with the intelligence and the curse. You know, I actually think that's better for me at this point. Let's hope it doesn't curse itself. Okay, it does. But, uh, oh well. That negative energy resistance wasn't doing us a whole lot right now. We'll drop it off of the stash. We'll probably use that later. But intelligence up to 28 means good things. I mean, look at that. Uh, our, our power level is noticeably higher. Actually, no, it's not. It's just the same. <laughs> But maybe something's better. Can we cast uh, Orb of Destruction yet? Kind of. Okay, yeah, you just burn to the ground. Fine. Or Priest, no problem. Blam! You can't smite a demigod. It's rule number one. Demigods do the smiting around these parts. Okay, troll. Um, yeah, long distance shot. Let's poison him up a little bit. Alright, quick fireball. Got him, okay. We already have a troll hide, but I can use the meat. Yeah, our strength is not that high. Whoops, I'm sick. Okay, that's fine. Scimitar, more blowgun. Okay. So we seem to be doing pretty well. And the lair, we did find the entrance to the lair. We're already in dungeon level 11. So I absolutely think we should go check that out. I think the dungeon monsters are starting to get a little bit hot for us. And we only got a couple of minutes left in the video. We absolutely would like to make a... Uh, stash in here as soon as possible because we're carrying around a bunch of junk. So, um, let's aim to do that as soon as we find a staircase down. Hey, look, a ring and a spiny frog. Yikes. All right, let's uh, deal with this guy as expediently as possible. Fireball, fireball, death. We don't even want to give those guys the chance. Yeah, everybody is going to come running when they hear the fireball, but oh well. Hopefully it's not like eight more spiny frogs. Pearl ring, huh? We'll put it on. Ring of ice? No thank you. We can just drop that. We are fire mages through and through. Okay. Curing. Alright, have we found a way down yet? Nope. Do, 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 no prob. A whole bunch of bananas into this banana tree, I guess. A manual of stealth. Well, that's interesting, alright. I suppose we should not say no to that. You know, when, uh, when fate you know, slaps you on the face or whatever, you, <laughs> yeah, you can't ignore that. Fate is telling me that we should put a couple points in stealth, and I don't disagree with them. I was just waiting for the right moment. And uh, I think, yeah, I guess this is the right moment. So, brilliant. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to cut the video here. So, I'll see you next time.